everybody this is pun the frugal streamer and this is going to be the quickest obs tutorial i have ever done on my youtube channel uh, this is based on a viewer question just stoney came to me uh, yesterday as a matter of fact he was watching the obs studio tutorial a better way to use in for live streaming and he saw how i had the mixer detached from obs studio and he basically wanted to know how did i do that okay so i'm going to show you that today uh, because this is actually a fairly common question that i get asked uh, a lot of people don't know about this but you can move these different parts of the ui in obs so let's go ahead and switch over and i'll show you my gaming pc where i have obs studio installed here and right now this is the default ui how everything's arranged um, and right now everything is locked because uh, if you did, if it wasn't locked, you would have a maximize and an X to close on each top of these little mini bars here. So to, to get that, to unlock the UI, just go to view, go to docs, and you'll have lock UI here that you can uh, then click. And you will see here that now you have the maximize, you have the close button for each of these parts of UI here. You can also look here and go to docs and you'll see lock UI doesn't have a check mark anymore. Okay, so... Now, what I like to do, and you can move these anywhere you want. You can put your mixer over here to the right side of your scene. Uh, you can put scenes to the right side if you want. You can do sources. You can detach these from the main UI so they're separate. Uh, you can, if you want to, and you you know you want to reset it back to your default, you can go to View, Docs, and you can reset the UI and put everything back to where it was by default. But I like to run this with the mixer off. So I'll just take and detach the mixer here. And then I'll expand it down to show all of the audio channels. And then I will use this to mix my audio from my game PC going over to the stream PC with NDI. And you'll have a lot. If you do NDI, the full NDI setup, the way I show you in my one of my other tutorials, um, you will have a lot of audio channels. Because you can do dedicated NDI audio channels in OBS Studio through filters. And then you can send those over channel one to your streaming PC. So you can mix everything here. And then everything is happy, happy as it goes across your stream PC, and it's just a matter of sending it out to your broadcast. So, anyway, that's it. That's really the tutorial in a nutshell. Um, super easy to do. Uh, and, you know, like I said, a lot of people don't know about it, but it's there in OBS Studio, and it's actually been there for quite a while. Uh, so, anyway, I hope it helped you out. Um, make sure you use it if, if you like it. And I hope the video helped you out. And if it did help you out, make sure you hit that like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, as I do all these tutorials like this all the time for OBS Studio, OBS Live here soon as I'm testing that out now and getting used to it. Uh, Streamlabs OBS and different live streaming apps. So, anyway. That is it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I appreciate your support for the Frugal Streamer. This is Pun. Have a great rest of your week. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.